Now, to if we want to, you know, break down some art, let's break down this uh this newest Jack Harlow album. I mean, I guess it is art. Hey, um, that is art. Let's it let's interpret art. it. <laughs> let's give our uh, opinions on it. Before I will before I say anything though, I will say this is my first time listening to any of his albums. Okay, I don't know if I want to go back and listen to any others because that's not what it made me want to do. <laughs> but it's like. Maybe at some point in time he was making better music. So okay. I'm going to give him that benefit. Because <laughs> this is my first time listening and it might be my last. <sighs> All right, let's dig a little. I actually do want to, I don't want to dig too deep. I don't want to overanalyze it, but I don't want to just chop it like, you know, sum it up to, uh, it's, it's mid. Like, that's all I've seen on, like, you know, Twitter, just like, oh, it's mid. Oh, he's the white Drake or blah, 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 blah. Let's actually have a reason why we don't fuck. Nah, like, or we, if you don't like it, why you don't like it other than just he's white or it's made. I was thinking about that too when I was on my way here. Because I have a reason why like, I, I, just, I, I felt the way I, how I, I felt. The, one about his rap pacing, it just feels so boring to me. Like, it's not exciting. He doesn't, mm -hmm. And I'm not saying he needs to rap fast. I don't like niggas rapping like Eminem either. I don't like that shit. But it's just like, yo, it just seems like a nigga just talking to me, bro. And it's not talking to me behind production that gives it the space to just do that. Because like all these up-tempo beats and all that, and then it's just like, nigga, you just rapping mad slow like you're just talking. And then when you are saying some shit, it ain't anything cool. It ain't, it ain't, you know, it ain't jiggy. It ain't something that I'm like, yo, I embody that. I feel that. It's just like, bro, nigga talking about nothing. Nah, some of the songs you talking about some shit, but it's just like, it's probably some shit that you can't relate to. Most you know, likely. Different background Most likely. area, shit like that. Because I hear some of the shit that he's talking about. Um, fuck, I can't remember it to reference it for real, but he was talking about shit when he was like 17. He was like, he was like, oh, when I was 16, I did this. He was like, it took me eight years to get this lit. He was like, you, oh, it took yeah, me 10 yeah, yeah. years to do this, you feel me? Eight years to such and such type shit, you feel me? Finally eat so off like, of it. Nine years yeah. before I drank. Yeah, yeah. So shit that. like that, that was cool. But I don't know. I feel like for me, it's just like, I don't know. Certain mainstream sounds just really don't appeal to me. So mm, it's like yeah. listening through it, it's like, it's hard for me to gravitate towards it. Like, and then the one beat that I did, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I'm kind of fucking with how this sounds. What's the that one, one beat that was? It was it was with the one that had Pharrell on it. And I'm like, all right, I'm really? going to jam it to it. Like and then Pharrell shit. came in singing, nigga. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? I was like, why would you sing on this beat? I was like, why are you hear this beat and think I'm going to sing on this beat, bro? Like, I don't even know. I don't even got to say but, how I feel about Pharrell. I didn't mind the one with Lil Wayne. I thought that was cool. I didn't even listen through to it. I just played mm. to hear the beat. Because after, after the, um, all right, after Side Chick, or side piece. I was like, I, Side Piece, yeah. I listened um, to that one fully, and then the Pharrell, the one with Pharrell came on, so I'm like, I'm fucking with the beat. Mm -hmm. And then I heard Pharrell start singing, I'm like, all right, yeah, I ain't gonna listen to the rest of this shit. <laughs> I started skimming through all the songs just to hear the beats. And I heard like half of the end of the um, outro, and I was I was kind of fucking with it, but it's the, the stuff that he's saying just seems generic. So I don't know if the rest of the project from where I dropped off is still generic, because the first half of the project wasn't really generic like that. Um, as far as like what he's talking about, I would say the sound and the structure of the songs were for generic. Sure. For what sure. he's talking about, it's like, yo, you feel me? He's talking about himself. I can't be mad at that. So, but it's like the way he's doing it is what's making it generic. You feel me? It's not necessarily what he's saying. And I might not even be able to relate to that. But that doesn't always mean that I can't enjoy it. Cause I feel like certain rappers, I listen to I listen to a lot of street shit. I listen to a lot of hipster shit. You feel me? I can't relate to a lot of that shit. I'm not out here killing niggas, but it's it's what they're saying and how they're saying it and the sound yeah, of the truth. Yeah, like, yeah, I was gonna say that to me, it seems too polished too. Mm. You think so? There's nothing yeah, like, wrong like, like, with that either. But uh, no, nah, but it's like when you. When I don't want to say that's a criticism. At me, least not when, when I was. Let me elaborate. Spending. Let me elaborate. Because right. kind of like what rapper. you're saying, like it just seems very mainstream. It seems like some shit out here on like Kiss 108 or some shit. You feel me? Like some real radio shit. It's just like I'm not. I don't like so that kind of music. I would say instead of polished, because there's some real underground shit that's polished like you could tell they put their heart into soul into the shit to make it sound the way it did and it's polished you feel me but mm, see, that's that not, mean it's generic that may, that may, I, polished just to me just means like yo they tried to make this as perfect as possible for me for their vision that's what you're saying cause I would say a lot of Travis's shit is polished but that shit's not generic mm -hmm. well some of his shit for me that's what you mean and but I wouldn't yeah. I think I have a better word for generic for me personally, because I, you know, I spun this you know, one and a half times, um, and then listening through, I definitely liked the second half a lot better than the first half. The first half was a little hard to get through, but when I heard the second half of Young Harleezy, when Snoop Dogg comes in and then he's, I listened through, I listened yeah. through that, and he was like, "You're the new Mac," and I was just sitting there, I and like, I was like, "Yo, uh, did this, you not have nigga, the self awareness bro. to realize that how yeah. that could be interpreted at all, like, yeah. bro?" But 
Nah, I feel like he did, and that's why he did it. That's the thing because I, I feel like I, I feel like take it like that. I feel like, like ain't no way that's what he means. I think he meant like going man, you know niggas be yeah, like, yeah, nah, that, that, that is nigga. You feel like, like come on, bro, it's a double on top, bro. Yeah. He, 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 he knows he's a white rapper. He knows that he could, bro. But this is gonna this is gonna sell. It's gonna do numbers. All these shits is gonna do numbers. I'll give him. I think there's no doubt about that because when you look at it, bro, he's got big singles. He's got the push. Like people like the person. And I was gonna say that too, like. Like I don't hate Jack Harlow. He's presented the himself. Like, like, yeah. He seems like a cool, cool dude, dude. Yeah. real wholesome dude. You know, humble. You feel me? Funny, like, for sure. Just, I'm not a fan of the music. I feel like it's about what he does after this, because a lot of the times artists like this, they'll be like, "All right, this is the sound that works for me," and they'll be like, "I'm gonna continue to do this." And I feel like for me, it just starts with whatever the beats are sounding like. Like I it hate when people that, keep sure. putting out projects and it sounds like it's literally just the same beats, even if they like. Sometimes you just gotta work with a different producer because the producer that you're working with can't make a different beat, bro. You feel me? So to in order to get a new on that sound, shit, that nigga gotta, boy wanted to be doing everything. That's the yeah. thing. Oh, okay. That's a, that that contributes to another criticism. But I right while I was listening to this, I will agree. I think the disconnect for me with his rapping ability, it's not like he can't rap. It's not like it's a bad sounding album. I've heard bad sounding albums. I've heard albums I can't literally am not trying to get through. I could do it, but I think the word that really sums it up, and you said it, was it's just boring, bro. Like mm. the topics, it's like they're just shallow. It, it, like that's, I think that's the word instead of generic for me, it's shallow. And it's funny you say that though, because with me feeling that, I was asking myself though, like, but do I want him here rapping about killing niggas and drugs no, and all that? But I, it's like, not, I don't want that either. It's not, it's not about that, <laughs> but it's about like the, like, because all I'm getting, bro, from a lot of the songs is like, He's just being too cool. You feel me? Like mm. too cool to the point where it's like, all right, where's like the act? Like, I right, this is this. Okay. I'll make a great comparison, right? People called him the white Drake. And I see the Joe, blah, 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 the white Drake, you know? But in Drake a way, I can though. see it in the sense of like, it's bland Drake, bro. Cause Drake, that he's like, you've got Drake, the cool, like, you know, he could talk cool and everything. But like, I think a lot of the time, like how Drake was able to separate himself was like how the vulnerable, insec- the vulnerable was. like yeah, being vulnerable, being showing his insecurity, yeah, showing like, sure. I'm not just mad cool. I'm not like the guy that you should be jealous of. I'll take your girl, Drake blah, blah, blah. who he was, bro. Like, also, niggas don't understand coming from that era of like gangster rapper, everyone's acting like they're the toughest dude in the streets. Like, yo, I can relate to this dude who's talking about, I got my heart broken, broken and yeah, I feel sad. I'm a simp, like, like whatever me. the case is, like, like you that feel me? It's just also, mad relatable. It is. The nigga had 40. It start with the beats. It, so. I mean, I, I don't feel like the shit I do agree. The production on this wasn't anything. The, I think the, the best production was on the singles. Like, first Nail class. Tech, first class. Oh, like, tech, I ain't even like first class, bro. I, the, when I listen to the, the album, beat, to the production. Beat, I didn't even like the beat either. I didn't like, it. I, I didn't like the verses. I don't, I don't like, like when these niggas keep sampling and shit like that. No, you're hating. That shit was clean. I think that's the why that song is so big is because of the glamorous mm-hmm. sample, bro. Yeah, facts, and how, of like, course. It d- mm-hmm. That is why it's that. You feel me? It's in his head, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it's catchy, bro. The the song fumbles because the verses are weak, but like you know. But um, so like I said, I think that's the disconnect too. It's just like the, the the range of what he's talking about is just shallow. He's just you know like he's just being too cool. He's just sticking with this one tone of voice, and he's not like expanding beyond that. And it, it just gets boring after a while, you know? And it's not like his rapping ability is enough. Like, he's not a bad rapper, but he's not making me think like, oh, shit, I got to run that back just to hear that again. Like, you never, like I, I didn't get that from him. Like, you feel me? Even if you were just trying to be the one type of, you know, even if you were trying to be this type of Drake music, Drake yeah. could still rap his ass off, bro. Whether you want to call it Ghost Rain or whatever, a- that nigga still has flows and you can hear that in... The song that he's even on. I'm gonna actually like, go back. Doing I'm gonna listen to his other projects just to see like, has he always been like this? Like what do what do people really see in it? You feel me? I mean this I think one, I think see- a lot of people were like, I don't fuck with this album at all. Yeah. You feel me? I'm gonna go back, listen to see. I think there are people who change. wanna hate on it and didn't give it the benefit of the doubt at all and just are quick to be like, it's mid, but there's truth in like saying it's not that great of an album because it's just like that's that's where the disconnect. The beats aren't crazy. The there's no dynamic between these. He's not even as good of a singer as Drake, bro. To be trying to like you know copy the playbook, you know. Like when I hear Poison with Lil Wayne, I hear the hook and I'm like, 
Yeah, Drake should be singing this hook, bro. And and I hate that, like, that's the comparison, because, like, uh, to me, that's the GOAT. So it's like, that's not a fair, but but that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to be like... So Y'all don't remember, this, this is the nigga we listening to right now. You feel me, too? I'm so you, what, no, do you, like what do you said, I'm gonna go listen to the album. That one, the other one, where he's, like, in the car, like a limo or some shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go listen like, to that. I'm gonna listen to uh, it. Cause cause I was see. trying to see how many projects he released before. But, um, yeah, bro, the label's yeah. putting so much money to this nigga, bro. Pharrell, Drake. Wayne, who else he had on the project? Yeah, who else? Um, Even the sample Justin he got that shit Timber, uh, Justin Timberlake, oh, like, was he on the feature? I don't remember. Twenty twenty two. I don't, I don't, remember. I don't, carry I don't remember his verse or anything. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Jay, who wants to listen to J T in twenty twenty two? I'm sorry, bro. Now, that's probably just some shit for him. That it's like y'all was a fan of this thing as a kid, and I can actually yeah. finally have this thing on my project. I'm gonna do that shit. Still not it. Nigga had Topanga in like one of his promo videos. Like nigga, you know I, mean? I, I see. He's just doing it because he can. Now. I definitely could have used some more features with like current. Like guys in the game, like that would have been nice. Like you want a little baby feature with I Jack want Hall? a little baby. It could have been anything. Okay, here's one, right? I I and I want to say the songs I did like, so it's not just me shitting on the whole thing. But I think the hooks were weak too, bro. You know what I mean? I don't want to constantly make the Drake comparison, but if you try, like I said, you're gonna follow the playbook. Do up. this shit right. Like the the hooks just aren't all other outside of the singles. The hooks didn't catch me, bro. And it's like. Yeah, the, the hooks were pretty weak. I was uh, like, what does Dua Leap even look like? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I was thinking about that when I heard that song. Like, like, who are you? It's crazy because they mentioned her in the thing in the episode too. So yeah, we got to protect Dua Leap. We got to yeah, protect her. Facts. Yeah, looking back though, I would say some songs that, I, you know, was cool was like Lil Secret. And I got to listen more to really like, you know, stand on these. Yeah, but, by the way, this is my first time listening to the album. Lil like, Secret, one, one I Got through. a Shot, the Drake shit cool. Like a blade of grass, and then see, yeah, f- that's the only one I liked off the project. To like actually physically like click blade the like thing. The, um, nah, the last song, the outro, State Fair, State Fair, yeah, because uh, that was him. Be, it, it was not. It wasn't a shallow. Like you feel me? He's actually talking about like being you know back in Kentucky and everything. So I like that. Hey, outro nigga, vibe. Kendrick drop next week. Fuck all that shit, nigga. <laughs> Sorry, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for I just that, remember shit. that shit. That's nigga. why we gonna talk about it this week shit, and never yeah. talk about it again. You feel me? Because once the once the real goat comes through. Yo.